Hi, I am Dr. Sakib Mansoor, and today I will discuss with you bone markings, the bone surface markings. And the surfaces of bones characteristically show numerous irregular features or surface markings. The surface gets roughened or raised where ligaments, tendons, bands of the fascia, or epinrosis get attached to bone. The roughenings are absent at birth. They become visible at puberty and get increasingly more prominent during adult life. These fibrous structures pull the point of attachments and the periosteum gets elevated and the new bone gets deposited underneath. In some cases, surface markings are big and have special names. Several of more important surface markings are summarized in next discussion. Yes, you could see this picture again and you can zoom in and uh, find various features over here. I will discuss each and every feature with a separate clear picture. So first of all, there are linear elevations. It could be a line like the superior knuckle line of the occipital bone or a ridge medial and lateral supracondylar ridge of the humerus and the crest, the ilia crest of the hip bone. So let's see the linear elevations. This is the, you know, a line which is the superior knuckle line, right? The occipital bone of the skull. And the ridge next is the medial supracondylar ridge here and the lateral supracondylar ridge of the humerus. This is the humerus bone in the upper limb, the arm. And this is the iliac crest of the hip bone. Here you could see this is the labeled star. Follow the laser. This is the iliac crest. Now the rounded elevations, first of all is the tubercle, it's a pubic tubercle, protuberance, extended occipital, external occipital protuberance, and tuberosity, the tibial tuberosity, malleolus example of the lateral malleolus of fibula and the medial malleolus of the tibia, and the trochanter, greater and the lesser trochanters of the femur. Here you could see this, this is the Tubercle, first of all, you could see the laser. This is labeled pubic tubercle. Here you could see this. This is the laser, pubic tubercle. Going on, this is the protuberance, the external occipital protuberance. Here you could see the laser at the occipital bone, right? This is external occipital protuberance. And this is the tibial tuberosity. You, you could see the laser. Yes, this is the tibial tuberosity, the attachment of the ligamentum patelli. And now the malleoli. This is fibula bone. Follow the laser, lateral side, the lateral malleolus. And this is the tibia bone, and this is the medial malleolus on the medial side. So this is now the trochanters, the two trochanters of the femur. This is the upper end of the femur. This is the greater trochanter over here, and this is the lesser trochanter over here. These are the trochanters. This is the rounded elevations. And the sharp elevation, the spine of the spinous process, the ischial spine of the spine of the vertebra. These are the examples. And the stylite process, the stylite process of the temporal bone. Let's see these. This is the C5 typical vertebra, superior aspect. And here you could see this. Follow the laser, the spinous process. This is the spinous process, which in this case of the cervical vertebra is bifid. And stylite process of the temporal bone, here you could see this. This is the stylite process, right? I can zoom in for this is uh, to make it more clear. Let's zoom in, right? You could see this. This is the stylite process. This projecting downwards. And uh, moving on, expanded ends for articulation. First of all is the head, head of the humerus, the head of the femur, condyle, medial and lateral condyle of the femur with a knuckle-like process, epicondyle, a prominence situated just above the condyle, medial and the lateral epicondyle of femur. You could see this. Let me catch the laser again for you. You could see this. And this is the head of the femur. You could see this, this over here, this view, anterior posterior. And this is the condyle and the epicondyle. This is the lateral condyle. 
this is the medial condyle right this is the medial condyle and this is the you could see the lateral condyle and this is the medial epicondyle this is epicondyle these were condyles and this is the lateral epicondyle so the small flat area for articulation this is the facet facet in the head of the rib for articulation with the vertebral body here you could see this is a rib and this is the second rib and this is a simple facet on head of the rib right so the depressions notch greater sciatic notch of the hip bone groove or sulcus bicipital groove also called as the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus and the fossa or like a non fossa of the humerus acetabular fossa of the hip bone and here you could see the notch this is the greater sciatic notch follow the laser this is labeled over here this is the greater sciatic notch of the hip bone and the groove this is you could see intertubercular sulcus here you could see this is the in, this is a greater tubercle the lesser tubercle between these is the intertubercular sulcus of the bicipital groove of the humerus and here is, is you could see the fossa this is the olecranon fossa of the humerus olecranon fossa here you could see this then the openings, the fissure, superior orbital fissure, the foramen, infraorbital foramen of the maxilla, the canal, the optic canal, and the paths, external acoustic meatus of the temporal bone. Here you could see this. This is the superior orbital fissure. Here you could see this. This one. Follow the laser. This is the superior orbital fissure. I've clearly labeled all these things with effort and time. Hope you like it. And um, uh, you, you do subscribe my channel and put a comment down below, right? If you want specific videos, do let me know. And uh, here you could see this is a foramen, the infraorbital foramen of the maxilla. Here you could see follow the laser. It's also clearly labeled. And the canal, the path, this is the optic canal. This is, you could see, the canal and... Uh, Sorry, this is the optic canal, right? Here you could see follow, follow the laser. Here you, this is the optic canal. Right? The laser is there. This is the optic canal, right? This is the canal. Now in the last is the path. Here you could see the path is the external acoustic meatus. Follow the laser. This is the external acoustic meatus. Let me zoom in for you this slide. And here you could see this. This is the external acoustic meatus of the temporal bone so thank you very much for watching my lecture and video so to sub subscribe me i still requested you already thank you very much stay tuned for more bye